Hi ladies, it's Kathy and today we're talking about 10 tips on how to hide a large stomach this summer, the do's and the don'ts. There's no magic trick to make a large stomach disappear. If there was one, I would have tried it years ago. There simply isn't. But there are some style do's and don'ts that you can keep in mind when getting dressed that can help us hide our large stomach, tummy, and belly fat. I personally am not interested in wearing shapewear at all, but especially not in the summer, it's too darn hot. I like to be comfortable and I have found some tips and tricks that work for me to help hide my large belly. If you're visiting me for the first time, my name is Kathy, I'm 54 years old and I am an apple shaped body. I'm also plus size and I'm five foot four, so I can also qualify to fit into petite clothing. For everything that I talk about, I will try and link products at different price points below the video. So if you want to go check them out, they'll be there for you. So the first do and don't to hiding a large belly is dress in a column of color. So a column of color is when you wear one color from top to bottom. And what it does is it really tricks the eye and it makes you appear longer and leaner. It doesn't cut your body anywhere, so it's really hard for the eye to see where your belly might be. So this is a tip that I use a lot. Now you could wear all navy, all black, all green, all brown. And yes, I feel that you can wear all white if it's done properly. For example, if you find a great pair of fitting pants, like these white jeggings that I'm showing you, you can wear a white top and then put a layer on of a really vibrant color, like an open front cardigan, a blazer, a kimono, just anything that isn't white and it just will really make your outfit pop. You can also do the same if you don't wanna wear white with any of the other colors that I, we've talked about. Even sometimes I find dressing in the same color family, like all blues, can also be like a column of color and make you look a lot longer and leaner. Tip number two, you want to take the attention off of your belly area. And I'm gonna tell you some of the ways that I like to do that and I find that they really work for me. My favorite is to wear a V-neck or a scoop neck. Just, you wanna create some space here between my chin and my chest because see how it automatically draws the eye up? I don't have like a long neck, I have a double chin but having the V-neck really helps to make it look like I have a neck and create some length. If I was to wear a crew neck, it kind of just makes it look like my head's sticking out and it's not a flattering look. So you always want to like bring your eyes up or down. If you have great legs, you want to show off your legs, that's also really going to detract away from the belly. And summertime is a great time to do that when we're wearing shorts or skirts. And another tip that I like to implement a lot is to wear a dark color on the bottom and a lighter color on the top. I like to wear dark shorts, like navy, black, brown, or olive color, and then wear a lighter color on top. It doesn't have to be like a totally different color. It could just be a lighter blue or a, a lighter green. And it's just going to detract from your belly and it's gonna make you look really stylish. Tip number three is also another favorite of mine. And really this tip I think applies to most body shapes. You don't have to be plus size or apple size for a wrap dress to work for you. So what a wrap dress does is it creates the illusion of a higher waist underneath your bust line. Ladies who have a larger belly, we can't really create a waist where our natural waist is because for myself anyways, that would cut me right through the middle and it's not going to create and the illusion of me looking smaller, it actually does the opposite. It makes me look bigger. So by creating a false waist higher up, that adds length to the body, but it also takes a focus away from the belly. So a wrap dress is so flattering. And if you can find a wrap dress with a V-neck, that is doubly flattering. As you can see with the one that I'm wearing, this is just one of my favorite tricks. I find it really is slimming. You could also get a wrap top if you don't want to wear a dress. That's another really flattering way to uh, make yourself look thinner and detract from your tummy. And another thing that I like to do when I'm looking for a wrap dress is find one with a print. 
I find if I wear a wrap dress with a print, it is so much more flattering on me than just like a plain, say, navy wrap dress. There's just something about a small print. It just, uh, it confuses the eye. They don't know where to look and it uh, instantly makes the belly disappear. So those are some of my favorite tips. Tip number four is to wear layers. Wear an open front cardigan or even an open front linen shirt this summer. You know, you could put on a, um, a tank top underneath and you have that third layer to give you some coverage that you, you feel you want to wear to camouflage your belly. It's kind of a nice cool look for the summer. I would look for one that ends at the bottom hip. You don't want your sweater or shirt to be too short. You want to make sure that it falls below where your belly ends. Now on me, the proper length for me is like at the bottom of my hip. So if I was to draw a line, it would probably be like to where my crotch area is. Your belly might be a little lower than mine, so you're gonna have to kind of figure out which length works best for you. But one thing I would caution is try and avoid cutting like your thigh in half. Maybe if your uh, third layer could end at your bottom hip, or just above the knee. I think those two are great lengths. I know on myself, if I have a sweater, sweater that ends like in the middle of my thigh, it's not flattering because it's sort of hitting the thigh in the middle, bringing attention to that area. So we always wanna use little tips and tricks to make ourselves appear longer. So just remember, either have your third layer hit bottom of your hip or just above the knee. Tip number five, I feel when plus size with an apple body shape, don't tuck your top in. Now you may disagree and that's fine, but I find for myself that whenever I wear my top out, it is much more flattering. And if I follow the tips like we just talked about for the top length, that's really going to help hide the belly. Now there may be instances where you do want to tuck in and sometimes I do too. These are just tips. I mean, they're not like rules written in stone that the fashion police are going to come out and arrest you if you don't follow them. Sometimes I just like to tuck everything in, like say if the top is really long and then I'll just gently pull it, the fabric out. So it kind of drapes over and I find that that does look nice on me. So it's really important you have to find what works for you, but just kind of keep these tips in the back of your head whenever you're, you know, shopping for clothes or getting dressed and just play around with them and see which one works the best for you. Tip number six, you want to find tops that flatter a big belly. I did a video a few weeks ago, I will link it here, spring tops that are flattering for a big belly. You wanna look for tops that have ruching. Ruching is just gatherings of fabric, either on the side or in the front. This is such a flattering top on myself, and I know it would probably be, be flattering on a lot of you ladies as well, because it just creates a, a really fun optical illusion, makes the eye focus on the ruching away from the area that you're trying to hide. I find it particularly flattering on myself when I can find a top with ruching like near the bust line. Another top that might work for you is peplum. Now peplum doesn't work for me. It may be because I have a longer torso. I don't know. I've tried them. I do not like how they look on me. They just make me look like I'm pregnant. But you know, it may work for you. Another top that I talked about previously is a wrap top. Same principle as a wrap dress. Create the higher waistline illusion, lengthens the torso and makes you look longer, leaner, thinner, and hides that belly. And you may be somebody that likes to wear stripes, but make sure they're vertical stripes. Because again, vertical elongates, unless you want to try the tiny horizontal stripes like I talked about previously. If you want to try horizontal stripes, again, make sure that they are very, very tiny and that the background of the top is a dark color because typically we should never wear horizontal stripes if we're trying to look thinner. But I found this year by trial and error that I myself can pull off a very tiny horizontal stripe as long as the background is dark, like not white. Try it, you know, it may work for you and it can be a really nice look just to amp up just a plain old t-shirt. So all the tops that I recommended, they're going to just flow over your belly and hide any lumps or bumps. Okay, 
Tip number seven is all about bathing suits and I do have a separate bathing suit video. So this is what I feel you should look for if you're an apple shape plus size when looking for a bathing suit. Again, a v-neck, very flattering. Ruching, a push-up underwire bra if you can wear that. Those are things that I really like because they bring attention to my chest. And they also, again, create, um, you know, the illusion of length here, but also if I'm tanned in the summer, it really is flattering. And also in a bathing suit, if you can get ruching, you know, underneath the bust on the sides, that helps to look like you have a waistline as well. Another uh, thing that you may not have thought of, I know for myself, because I have short legs, a 27 inch inseam, when I'm shopping for a bathing suit, I'll look for one that has a higher leg on the side. Now you may not feel comfortable with that and that's fine, but I just thought I'd throw that out there because I find as somebody that has shorter legs, it does help to make my legs look a little longer. I always look for a, a solid color uh, one-piece bathing suit, black, although I prefer now to go with like navies or even like a nice, you know, mid-color blue. I think that's nice, especially with the ruching. And I also really enjoy a tankini because it's just so much easier when you have to go to the washroom to have a tankini on rather than a, you know, a one piece. When I look for a tankini, I look for a full brief, uh, but a lot of the times I also look for one that has like a skirt with a slit on the side and that just dresses it up. I just think a skirt, I prefer them because it just hides the top of my thighs and I just like how it looks better than a brief. And if you're going for a tankini, make sure that the tankini bottom has a high waist because that's going to cinch in the belly. You don't want like a low rise where you're going to get a muffin top and have, you know, like a roll hanging over it. Or high waisted bottom or even swim shorts are quite popular for women today. I like to wear flesh toned sandals that helps to elongate my leg. So if you're looking to, you know, make your leg appear longer, try and match your sandals to your skin color and be on the lookout for that bathing suit video because I'm going to be trying on at least between five and seven different bathing suits from different price points. So yeah, I hope you show up for that. I'm a little uh, nervous about making that video. Tip number eight, when we're shopping for bathing suit cover-ups, you want to make sure that they're long and flowing. You don't want anything that's too tight and you don't want to go with anything that's too short. Again, I would go with uh, falling below my bottom hip or just above the knee. Personally for myself, I find that if I wear a swimsuit cover up that is like say a maxi dress style, it's just too overwhelming for me. So I prefer to uh, go with the shorter style, but you know, if you feel more comfortable in the flowy kind, totally get that, go for that. And if you could incorporate, you know, some vertical stripes or some sort of a pattern, that would be, I think, more flattering than just say a plain blue or a plain black cover up. Tip number nine, when you're shopping for shorts or skorts or skirts, I would go for high waisted because high waisted is going to hold in the belly and we're not going to get that uh, roll we talked about hanging over the waistband that sometimes can happen. I know for myself, like I would never wear a low rise anything because that's just not a good look. I've tried mid rise, still not a good look because I find that I get a bulge above the waistband and you get the muffin top. I don't like how I look in a skirt, so I opt for a skirt. It's a look of a skirt, but, but it's comfortable like shorts and it can be quite flattering. I'll link a few different ones below that you can check out. Tip number 10, wear clothing that fits you properly. I get it. As somebody that is an apple shape plus size, sometimes we just want to cover up because we're not like, you know, 100% comfortable showing off our body, especially in the summertime when it's too hot to hide behind bulky sweaters. I totally, totally understand. And I'm you know, sharing these tips with you, I'm coming from a place of love and respect because this is something that I have struggled with in the past. So it's really important I have found to wear proper fitting clothing. If you wear baggy clothing all the time, it really isn't flattering. So try and find like clothing that you feel comfortable in, but maybe it's a little tailored. Like if you can sew, maybe cinch in a little bit, around the bust line to create that fake waistline. Wearing clothing that properly fits you actually makes you look slimmer and it's gonna make you feel confident and it's gonna make you feel like 
good about yourself. And the same thing goes with shorts. Don't wear like one size too big or really um, boxy ones. Find shorts and pants that work the best for you. For instance, for myself, I hate how a wide leg or a bootleg jean looks on me. It doesn't work for me, but that's okay. There are other options. I find what works best for me is a straight leg. I find that is the most slimming. Another one is a jegging, you know, where it's more closer to the leg. I know a lot of people say when you're in apple shape, you should wear like wide legs. Maybe that is the rule, but that rule is one that I don't adhere to because I have found through trial and error over the years what works best for me. And I, that's the point I'm trying to bring across to you today is you can like hear all these tips and tricks, but they don't work for everybody. But a few of them may work for you. And if you, you know, tailor them to yourself and you just make one or two changes, you will be really surprised at uh, the difference that it makes. Just look at yourself in the mirror before, look at yourself after wearing the, you know, clothes with maybe a v-neck or something like a wrap dress where the it creates that waist. You're really gonna be surprised at the difference that uh, it makes in how you look in your outfit. And I truly believe from the bottom of my heart that when you look good, you start to feel good about yourself and you wanna stay away from those baggy clothes, and that is the whole point of my channel, is I want to help women that look like me to look and feel good about themselves. I don't want you to ever feel bad about yourself. So, you know, these aren't rules. If you're just looking for tips on how to maybe improve an outfit, you know, try one or two. That's how I learned by trial and error. And I'm actually a woman that has this problem. So I, I feel that I have some credibility, you know, talking about what works and what doesn't work. Another tip that I just thought about are shoulder pads. I have very broad shoulders. I'm, you know, uh, quite wide on the top, but if you are narrow and a trick you can do is get some shoulder pads, just put a shoulder pad in your top. By putting in the shoulder pads, it will help your top half look in proportion with the rest of your body. I hope that you found these tips and tricks helpful. And if you haven't watched my flattering tops to hide a big belly, go check out that video and I'll meet you over there.